Does estrogen cause water retention? It does. Estrogen does cause fluid retention in the body. My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to look at how estrogen, other female hormones, and male hormones influence water retention through their effect on the kidneys. If you like this type of information, this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button if you want to see more like it. Yes, estrogen definitely does cause water retention, but in both males and females, there are other hormones and systems the body uses to balance out estrogen's effect um, of water and water retention. So we'll look at uh, the specific role of estrogen in fluid balance, but first we need to understand the body's fluid regulator regulating mechanisms and the other hormones involved that are used to kind of counterbalance estrogen's effect. So most of the most of our body's water is inside the cells intracellular and that leaves about 5% um, on average for the uh, body to use to regulate the overall fluid balance in our bodies. And there's many different things that are used to balance out the relative uh, fluids in our body, one of the main being the kidneys. The kidneys use an intricate system to main flu maintain fluid balance. That system is regulated and controlled by different hormones. And estrogen is not one of the main hormones involved, but it does affect uh, the kidneys and does affect this system of fluid balancing. First, let's look at some of the hormones that are involved with this uh, kidney uh, fluid regulatory system. The main hormone responsible for fluid balance inside the body uh, via the kidneys is aldosterone. It is a mineral corticoid hormone, and there are several mineral corticoid hormones, um, and these basically, as a group, cause increased sodium retention in the kidneys. And with that increased sodium retention, there is increased water retention as water tends to follow sodium. Where there's high concentrations of sodium, the water will seek to balance out that high concentration of sodium by flooding to that area. So when there is more aldosterone, there will be more water retention. And it just so happens that estrogen tends to increase the production of a substance that is needed for aldosterone production. In addition, studies looking at women on long-term hormone therapy do find a relative increase in fluid retention through this uh, sodium retention uh, effect in the kidneys. And it seems that the estrogen's uh, effect on fluid retention is mediated through the kidneys. This occurs either through its effect on aldosterone or it may have an, a direct effect on, there may be a direct effect of estrogen on the kidneys similar to aldosterone. So contrast this with progesterone, which acts to antagonize or block the effects of aldosterone and other mineral corticoid hormones from binding to the kidneys and thus leading to less sodium retention uh, and corresponding less water retention. Now, that's uh, bioidentical progesterone. It has that effect, but not all progesterones have that effect. So there's other synthetic type of progesterones known as progestins, and most of these do not have that same counterbalancing effect on uh, reducing estri reducing uh, sodium retention and uh, blocking the effects of mineral corticoids. So if you're a female and you're on hormone replacement therapy and you're postmenopausal and you're wondering, you know, why you have so much fluid retention, well, it could be because you're not on a progesterone, you're not on enough progesterone or you're not uh, on any progesterone in some cases women just take estrogen and that can lead to a relative increase in sodium retention and it usually doesn't happen at first it's kind of more of a long-term thing so maybe after you're on for like mm, three months or more you might start to notice more of that sometimes it's just a relative imbalance in the amount of progesterone to estrogen in your formula and uh, males too can have this problem because the effect of testosterone on estrogen so testosterone can lead to uh, one of the metabolites of testosterone is estrogen um, if you're having a lot of uh, what we call aromatization that testosterone can turn into more estrogen and also have this effect on the kidneys now males don't typically uh, get progesterone supplementation um, they could in some cases but um, it's not as common 
but that would be one way to counterbalance the um, uh, increased fluid retention. Also, you can just uh, work on the relative uh, excess of estrogen by increasing uh, the uh, breakdown of estrogen, and that would help uh, as well. Another consideration in this fluid retention uh, situation, whether or not you have, you know, you may not have a lot of increased estrogen, but you may have increased cortisol. So cortisol is a mineral corticoid and has the same effect, uh, but not as strong of an effect as aldosterone. And so it does cause more of that fluid retention. But the other thing, if you're on hormone replacement therapy, sometimes if you're on really high doses, if your levels are high, it can cause high cortisol levels and lead to this fluid retention effect as well. So there is a um, article that kind of goes through some of these points that I will put in the description if you're interested. You can check that out. Okay, that's all I had to say about how estrogen has its effect on fluid retention. If you have a burning question uh, about your health or a specific topic you want covered, ask it in the comment section and I may select your question or uh, health topic to do a separate video on. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.